What the fuck is up? Higher point of view here. It is your West Coast Packer backer. I'm sure y'all motherfuckers heard the news. Uh, Packers have signed Sammy Watkins, okay? So let's go over the pros and cons to this. Uh, initially, I uh, I said at one point I was underwhelmed. But um, we just going to go over the pros and cons. I'm going to tell you why. But the pros is always good. Uh, One-year deal. One-year deal is a prove it deal. Whatever you do. You can either get an extension or you get your ass released next year or, you know, you become a free agent next year. So very safe by Goody making this a one year deal. That's a pro. Another pro is he is a pro. You know, we what we want is a bet to come in and take the spot. And again, there's not there's not going to be any one person taking Devontae Adams spot. He's just too good for that. So we're going to have to get uh, different types of receivers in different areas to help Aaron spread the ball around. So I know that's what we're going for. Plus, we got a ground and pound um, running game. So, uh, yeah, he's a pro. And um, he's a student of the game. One thing that the highlight that stood out to me in his whole career, he did it. He had a good good little time in Buffalo. Some might say it was underwhelming. He had a good time, great time in Kansas City where he won a championship. And then Baltimore, he was hurt all this year. He was hurt in that Kansas City year, too, when he came on strong at the end. But uh, he's a student of the game. That's what I like. And Aaron Rodgers likes student of the game, students of the game. And uh, the one play in the Super Bowl where there was a play where he burnt Richard Sherman in for a touchdown, I believe, or a long gain. And they asked him about that play. And he said he was looking at a film of Devontae earlier that season where Devontae tore Sherman up, even though we lost that game against the Niners that season. But to see that he's looking at film and getting reference from great Packers, you know what I'm saying? That shows, you know, he's a student in the game, and Aaron always loves that. He loves people that's in the playbook. He loves to challenge people, and he's been in big games. So those are all the pros about him. The cons, I'm going to go, uh, oh, another pro, he's 28. The cons, I'm going to go, the past couple years, you know, he has been dealing with injuries. I always hate injuries, but you know what? That's a part of the game. We ain't going to be able to get around that. So, uh, you know, but the last two years he hasn't been healthy. That was my main issue. And then number two, I would say he has lost a step, but obviously father time waits on no one. So he is 28. He's not 24. But again, he's still a burner. He's still faster than probably everybody we got now. So we have to accept that. Now, do I think he's going to come in and be a number one? Nah, I would hope not. I would hope we do another move in free agency and get one of these other guys, a Julio Jones or or hopefully a, a big trade draft day get a get a Keenan Allen or a DK Metcalf now that will replace uh Devontae as far as on the talent side but uh you know if we're gonna do this collective effort this is the way to go with it we got Sammy Watkins now he is a game changer now you know one or two plays a game he could you know take the top off or you know cut you know catch a big play we just need him to be on the field but uh yeah, you know, again, like I said, first I was a little underwhelmed, but, uh, you know, that was just my first initial reaction. But it took a little talking with my boy, uh, Packer fan in Vegas. Shout out to you. I was glad to catch that stream earlier. That shit was, uh, you know, shit, that shit turned into a motherfucking wrestling stream. But, um, yeah, you know, even the logic that he was using on why we got him, that kind of made me feel a little better. So that's why, you know, hey, all of us have one love and that's the Packers. There's many ways to skin a clap clat there's many ways to skin a cat there's many ways to slice a pizza so we all might love pizza but we just like our shit sliced differently just but just like gooden kent's and aaron Rodgers haven't gotten along for a while guess what those are the two longest tenured packers that we have gooden kent's and aaron Rodgers. they came around the same time so we both know that their both main focus is to win but they just like doing this different ways and geniuses you know they're going to clash because they're geniuses but uh another note in goody we trust the past four, five, six, seven, eight transactions he's been dead on with, y'all. What would we have done without Devondre Campbell? What would we have done without Rasul Douglas? What would we have done without getting Preston and, and Z a, a few years ago? Getting Adrian Amos. This is all Gutekind's work, man. So we have no choice up until this point but to trust motherfucking Brian. And, uh, hey, he bought another guy on board. And another thing Rodgers is going to respect about Watkins is he, he played with Pat. Now, if Rodgers know you play with somebody just as elite as him, he's going to show you in every way why he's elite in his own way. Don't think that, you know, Rodgers ain't thinking about like, oh, he used to play with Pat. So Rodgers is going to obviously bring his game like he does all the time and show Sammy and still teach him some of the nuances that even uh Pat couldn't teach him because Pat is more off of just brute strength and, and just, 
you know, playmaking ability. Right now, Aaron is more cerebral with it. So he's going to be teaching Sammy uh, a lot of new checks and, you know, scramble plays that he already knows. Like, I think it's going to be a good connection. And I must admit, I was a big fan of the Devin Funches pickup. You know, I thought it was decent. I thought Devin Funches did have a couple more years. And uh, I thought that he had a few underwhelming years before then, and I thought he was going to get his shit straight in Green Bay. He ended up getting hurt, but even when he did play when it was uh, the first preseason game or even family night, uh, he showed up. He was one of the highlights. So uh, I'm going to say this. Watkins is better now than when we got punches. So I guess, you know, we got to be happy about this. So uh, I think it's going to pay dividends in the end, though. You know, Goody, hey, Goody is a wizard, man. But, uh, yeah, man, shout out to motherfucking everybody. Shout out to the Pack Attack. Uh, and shit, shout out to all the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, like, like the video, please. You know, we want everybody to see this. Let's, let's work, let's work on getting this algorithm better. So all the other Packer fans can see these videos. But, uh, on that note, I'm out.